braid to end just before the shoulder. So you can just trim it just by using the connector as a guide. Now I'll typically uh, fan the uh, braid out like this and then just carefully use a pair of uh, diagonal cutters and trim all the way around. Well that's not too bad. Uh, now's a good time to uh, slip the compression ferrule over the end of the coax and get it down out of your way here for the time being. Now the next thing we want to do is trim the uh, center insulator. We want the end of that center insulator to bottom out against the uh, insulator that's in the base of uh, this connector, the white insulator up back there. And of course we can use the connector again as our guide if you don't want to do any precise measurements. Just take a piece of wire and stick it inside the connector here and then uh, where it bottoms out, bend it over at a sharp angle. And now you know the precise length to where you want to trim the center insulator. In this case it's uh, in the neighborhood of about uh, 11 to 12 millimeters, uh, just under a half an inch. First, the next thing we want to do is trim the length of the center conductor and we can use again the connector pieces as our guide. We stick the uh, center conduct conductor on here we can see how much length I need to trim away so that when this thing is fully seated uh, the bottom of this hits the, uh, the center insulator here. So it looks like I need to take about uh, well, it looks like about three millimeters off of there or a little more than an eighth of an inch. Well, let's see how close I got here. Uh, looks like I get to take a, just a, another little bit more off of that. Okay, so it looks like uh, we've got that length now right. So now we're all ready to do our two crimps. So this first crimp is on the center conductor and uh, it's always a little tricky sometimes to get everything lined up here. It feels like you need three hands. But I think we can get this thing lined up and give ourselves a good crimp here. There we go. Now just double check that uh, that's good and tight and not coming off. And the next step is to insert the connector on. And we want to kind of make sure that the braid goes all around on the outside here. Uh, so we'll just push that on and push the braid up tight against the crimping ferrule. And then once we have got that in place, uh, the connector is all pushed in as tight as it's going to go. We're bottoming out that center insulator against the inside of the connector. We can bring our crimping sleeve up and cover this up. And now we're ready to crimp that. Okay, so now this one's a little bit easier here. We stick this in the uh, correct ferrule here. And uh, I like to not quite bottom it out, but leave myself a little bit of a gap on both sides here. And then we'll crimp that down. And with that, uh, we are done. This connector is on there good and tight. It's not going anywhere. And uh, I've done this uh, for many years. These connectors can serve you well for many years to come, and they're very easy to do. You can buy the uh, materials, the connector, the ferrules, and everything as sets uh, from many places, even on uh, eBay and Amazon. And uh, you can make yourself up uh, your custom cable sets. Now, there is an optional step that we could have taken when installing this connector. Before doing the final crimp, we could have slipped on a piece of heat shrink tubing. And then after making the final assembly here, bring the heat shrink tubing up and shrink it across the ferrule and onto the coax. That makes for a really nice, neat, professional appearance, and it also serves as a little bit of a strain relief. But that's all there is to it to install these crimp-style BNC connectors on, uh, on coax. Uh, the connectors will be specific to the type of coax being used, whether it's RG58 like this, or maybe 75 ohm RG59, or maybe the miniature RG174, whatever it might be. But you can pick up uh, connectors that match the coax you're going to use, and then just ensure that you've got uh, the proper die in your crimping tool to meet the diameters that are required for the crimps. But that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video, got a little something out of it. And if you like what you see on my channel, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up for this video.